and welcome to this new tutorial on nuclear and this time we're going to be talking about keyboard defense so without further ado let's start um, last lecture we were talking about uh, drawing primitives and now we're going to talk about uh, how to handle events keyboard input events this time we're going to be talking about keyboard next tutorial we'll be talking about the mouse okay so uh, let's let's start so so the first thing we have to do about keyboard, we have to do things, right? One is to declare the function that handles the keyboard input. The other one is to call the function. Okay, so the function is here. It handles the keyboard input, so we call it keyboard defense. Just avoid the fact that it doesn't return anything. And then um, we access the search input, nk input. And then the function here, inside the function you can see the key enter and the key tab. So this function will respond to the key enter and the key tab. When they enter a key, as you can see the if statement, if the key enter is down, then output enter was pressed and then if the key tab was down, then output key tab was pressed. So this is the function that handles the keyboard event, simple enough. So let's just call this function. Where should we call it? Well, we should call it inside the GLFW loop, or I means the, the infinite loop of the application. There. So as we know, the nuclear applications run inside this loop, while GLFW is a loop that goes on forever and on forever. So this frame after frame, it just goes on this loop. So let's tap in here. Let's call the function keyboard event. Now we know the input structure is inside the context. So we have to call the context and then refer to the input member of the context. Okay. Uh, yeah. So let's see if it works. Okay. So if you press enter, if you press enter, it outputs keep, keep enter was pressed. If you press tab, it says keep tab was pressed. Now look, if I press enter and keep it pressed like this, it just outputs the message once. Same thing with tab, if I press tab and I keep it pressed, it just does it once, it doesn't do it multiple times. So if for video games, it's useful to, to change that. So when you press a key like tab, it keeps acting, so for example, if it was the left arrow or if it was the up arrow key, you'd want it to have a continuous action. So for that, we just change here. So we remove this uh, when the key is clicked, the, this uh, else if. When the key, basically what it means is else if the keyboard keys, when the key is down, press down, and when the key has changed the state, so if it was unpressed and then pressed, or if it was pressed and then unpressed, that's what the click means. So let's just remove this and clicked here. We don't need it. And then let's see the behavior. You, can, you guys can play with this on nuclear. I'm just highlighting the features so that you can you guys can play later on it. Let's see, for example, the difference now between the enter key and the tab key. Okay, so the enter key. <laughs> key enter was pressed and then if I press it continuously it just does it once okay now tab key you can see whoa you can see tab key if I press it continuously it just does it so so can you see the difference I've pressed tab key only once but continuously and it does so it could be a, a key a space key for shooting or shooting uh, targets or just up and left and down arrow whatever that's an application you might want to know. Now another thing about the keyboard, the final thing about the keyboard, the input, is I don't know why I actually thought of, but I I don't know. I don't know why in, in nuclear the, there's a very limited selection of keys to choose from. So they don't even have the, the numbers, or the numbers, or they don't have the letters. A, B, C, D, they don't have the letters. So. If you want to add a key that's not here in the list, for example, if you want to add a key R or the, or the key space, for example, let's add the key space. It's not here, amazingly enough, space key is not here. 
So that's the key space. We go here to this list here on nuclear.h and we just add and key space and then we have to go to our glfw um, glfw backend because it's what we're using here if it was sdl you have to go to the sdl and so on so forth and then change this add here the key so you can just control f search for these um, things for these keywords Okay, so now let's add the space key to our uh, keyboard event function. So else if, and now let's hope it works because otherwise I have to start the tutorial all, tutorial all over again and I can't be arsed. And key space, not tab anymore. So the space button is very useful for video games, especially, but for other stuff. Uh, key space, key space was pressed. Let's see. Um, let's see if this works, it probably won't work, um, but, but let's see, let's close the application, let's see if it works, if I press the space key, what will it do, uh, obviously it's in the continuous mode, isn't it, yeah, look at this mode, so if I press, if I press the space key, oh, it works, tab key, enter key, enter is not in continuous mode, it's on a single trigger mode, continuous trigger key space, okay, cool, that, okay. So that was the sort of for today, I don't think you can explore things, of course you can explore more what is down and click means and the combinations of the AND and R, logic operator or whatever, but you just explore more. But this is the basics, we learned how to ev evoke keyboard events, we learned how to use the continuous or single click a single um, trigger mode for the key and we also learn how to add keys that are not on the list if you like the tutorial please don't forget to give you a thumbs up and um, and subscribe to the channel thank you so much and uh, see you guys later